The Lagos State Governor, Babajide Sonwolu, has affirmed that working alongside his deputy, Kadri Hamzat, in managing the affairs of the state has been an incredible journey. He stated this at a special prayer ceremony in commemoration of Mr. Hamzat's 60th birthday celebration at the Central Mosque, Alausa. Take a look. Community Secretariat Central Mox, Alausa, is the venue for the 60th birthday of the Deputy Governor of Lagos, Kadri Amzat. <laughs> Dignitaries make their way in for the occasion. The arrival of the celebrant changed the atmosphere just before stepping into the hall. The Lagos State Governor Babajide Sonwolu, his wife, Dr. Ibijoke Sonwolu, Speaker of the Lagos State House of Assembly, Modashi Robasa, religious leaders, traditional rulers, members of the Governor's Advisory Council, political leaders, senior government officials, among others, are here for the number two citizen of Lagos State. It's an opportunity to pray for the deputy governor and also lecture the gathering on the appropriate way of raising children. print the imprint in the indelible printing of the fear of Allah. I pray Almighty Allah for you as you are celebrating 60th today. Amen. I'm excited to be part of this celebration with you. Amen. I pray Almighty Allah to grant you security, Amen. to grant you serenity, Amen. and to grant you serendipity Amen. all days of your life. Amen. Amen. Bismillah rahman rahim Amen. Pastor Femi Fashiro of KICC in Maryland, Lagos, showers and comium on the celebrant, commend his leadership style, and encourage him to do more for the people of Lagos State. It takes some work to be a good husband after so many decades. It takes some work to be a good father after so many decades. It takes some work to also be a great leader in such a country like us, a leader that is loved by all, it takes a lot of work. However, at 60, sir, I am here to challenge you with the word of the Lord. It's not yet time for you to begin to wind down. At 80, Joshua said, and Caleb said, give me another mountain. As I was at 40, so I am right now. You are not 80 yet, sir. You are only 60. So we expect you to refire. We expect you to re-engage and for you to go forward. And like the word says, that you should stretch some more. John Maxwell, a great leadership pro, once said, success is due to our stretching to the challenges of life. Failure comes when we shrink from them. It's not time for you to relax. Our dear nation, our dear states, 
need all of you, all of your sacrifice, all of your commitment, all that the Lord has endowed you with at a time such as this. Please, sir, for the sake of all and the Lord that you serve, sacrifice. And when you do, just like God backed Queen Esther up, God will back you up and your efforts will not be in vain. Lagos State will be a better place. Nigeria will be a better place. And we'll pray for your family that in the name of Jesus, your family will be better for it in the name of Jesus. And indeed, you will fulfill purpose. More words of prayer from one of the Muslim cleric. The chairman of the Christian Association of Nigeria, Bishop Stephen Adegbite, who is also the executive secretary of the Nigerian Christian Pilgrim Commission, says the celebrant is the first person holding the deputy governor's seat for two terms because of his personality. The Christian community in Lagos is happy with you. The Muslim community is happy with you. And you are a record breaker. Since 1999, no deputy governor has done a second term. You are the first one to do that. And we give glory to God. You should clap for God. For... It's not by power. It's by the grace of God. It's because of the unity. It's because of the tenderness. And it's because of your tandem that you work with the governor. That is why Lagos say, go for another time. And pastor have said it. You haven't seen anything yet. This is not the end though. You are still moving higher. And higher and higher and higher and any time the time comes also for us to be with you we can assure you of our support and i tell you why you are one of the leaders including mr governor when we call you you respond it's not everybody so once again on behalf of all the christians in lagos we celebrate you today and you will live many more years in the land of the living and it shall be well with you right. shalom one of the civil servants working in the office of the deputy governor also has more to say about Dr. Kadri Hamzat. We're one in ODG, and that's thanks to Mr. Deputy Governor, Dr. Bafemi Kadri Hamzat. He's a God-fearing man. He's very humble. He's noble. He's respectful to everyone. He makes us, he carries everybody along in everything he does. We all know what he's going to do at what time he's going to do them so that we can all juggle our lives around what he's doing conveniently. And we've been able to effectively and efficiently do that. We say a big thank you to you, sir. We are one big family in ODG, and that's thanks to you, sir. We hold Pallies in office of the deputy governor, where the deputy governor sits with us one-on-one. -on -one. He sits with us and listens to us without rushing our own ODG time. He has state assignments, but he dedicates that time to the office of the deputy governor. Governor Babajide Sonwoli is excited, celebrating his friend and colleague's sister, Diamond Jubilee. He described him as a partner that can be trusted. For almost 20 years now, Obafemi, Kadri, Hamzat, and myself has been completely inseparable. I want to stand here to testify to the glory of God in his life. As cabinet members, I know too well that that decision, that deliberation, even in Mr. President's government or in BRS first term, if you don't pass through himself and myself, that memo will be, will be challenged. So you need to come and see us at the back because that's our role. Once we raise up our hand, you know that your memo 
has a problem. Or your memo, he's going to have a speedy passage. That has been our trajectory. And I want to say this also publicly, that when the conversation of myself as a governor, Femi and I resolved, and was the first person to give me the endorsement that I required. I cannot ask for a better brother, a better co-sojourner, a better partner than himself. Two, three governors, including Mr. President, actually did advise us together that you will fight, you will have disagreements, you will quarrel. But I'm saying it in front of all you men of God, to date, Femi Anna has not fought. We have not had a disagreement. We have not had an issue to say that Waba Mimbe or he will jam my door. Nothing has happened like that. And so I want to use him as an example of what humility is, of what God goodness is, of what when you create an environment where peace and tranquility works, nothing is impossible. I stand here to celebrate his life and to thank him for believing in my leadership, for agreeing, even when if he does not agree, he will agree. He can come back and disagree, but he will agree for trusting in all of my leadership. And I want to say, and they've prayed for you, that which you're asking God for, quietly, knowingly, unknowingly, God Almighty, that creates way for men. We look at one way, but God looks at several ways. We'll make it happen for you. The celebrants could not hide his gratitude to the people who have come to celebrate him. I use the name of Almighty Allah. Is the God that has no limitations. Is the God that is beyond everything. We are all lowly before Almighty Allah. I use that name to thank everybody. Mr. Governor, Mr. Babaji Deolushola Sawolu, I thank you for your dedication, for your brotherliness. Just about two days ago, Governor Mabel, <laughs> Governor was telling me that Femi, Fort Main Lambridge, we must do it. Oh, oh, Governor, I'm a law one I'm a law So the passion that you bring to the job, the passion that you bring to this state. Baba, I want to read that she go easy. Wallah, it Allah is more be lie, la si lie, la ilau. Cause this state, like Baye, to dare li sheri. Lagos State is the only state in the world. To the que federal, that's it. To the London Rail, the state only seven percent. Federal Lunche, New York Rail. So a co, Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Halimi. Along my jacket could no leo. Along my jacket could no leo. So, Mr. Governor, may God continue to be with you. My darling sister, you are a very good woman. I saw your passion. Uh, the way Governor Mazofun, ah, oh, team, my joke. So, we, we thank you. We thank you for your passion, your dedication. God will continue to bless you. And your children will fulfill their destinies. I'm grateful to you. My darling sister, my darling wife also. You know, um, <laughs> she's, like, she's like a shock absorber. Nothing, whatever it is. Anyway, <laughs> so with, I thank you very much for being a good wife, for being a good mother. And for the children, may God continue to bless you all. Thank you for your support. Our fathers, our Christian fathers, our Muslim fathers, Modupeo. Dr. Kadri Obafemi Amzat is a politician who has since 2007 served the people of Lagos. In 2011, he was appointed as the Commissioner for Works and Infrastructure to champion the state infrastructure revolution agenda during the administration of former Governor Babatunde Fashola and currently serves as the Deputy Governor of Lagos State since 2019.